The scariest thing that has come with the invention of the internet is cybercrime. Cybercrime occurs in many different forms such as identity theft, fraud, financial theft and cyber extortion. And with the expansion of e-commerce, cybercrime has grown even more dangerous. Throughout the passing years, the rates of cybercrime have increased beyond measure. In fact, it was reported that the global economy spends approximately $500 billion on cybercrime every year. Yikes, that's a lot of money. An even more concerning fact is the FBI don't have the resources to be able to solve most of these crimes. But why is that? Doesn't the FBI have the resources to recruit some of the highest and brightest minds of the country? Well, there's just one problem with that, and we're going to talk about that today. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about quite an interesting and almost comical topic. Why does the FBI struggle to find hackers for their agency? Well, the answer is much more simple than you think. It's actually weed. No, it's not the seaweed kind of weed, or the kind of rogue plants that keep spoiling your garden. We're talking about the weed also known as cannabis or marijuana. It's a psychoactive drug used by many people across the world in order to get their dopamine hit. In simple words, it's so that they can get high. While many states such as California, Nevada, and Illinois have legalized the smoking of weed, this comes in direct conflict with federal law. The federal law declares that smoking of weed is illegal. And because of this very reason, there is a rule in the Federal Bureau that anyone who has smoked weed in the past three years is ineligible to work at the FBI. Unfortunately for the FBI, this rule has caused way more problems than they could have foreseen. The former director of the FBI has said that a lot of the nation's top computer programmers and hacking gurus are also fond of marijuana. The former director has also stated we may find people of great technical talent who want to smoke weed on the way to the interview. Well there you have it folks, the only thing that's stopping the FBI from hiring hackers is weed. It might seem funny to you but trust me the FBI is not laughing about this. They see it as a very serious problem and are struggling to find a solution. Perhaps the most concerning thing for the FBI is that more states such as South Dakota are slowly working on legalizing weed and with that happening I doubt any hacker will want to leave smoking it. However it also seems that the FBI is still hopeful that hackers will leave smoking weed so that they can work at the bureau. On the other hand, hackers are completely unwilling to do so, because unfortunately, they don't consider working at the FBI their ideal job, especially when it involves, well, leaving weed. Well, that's a major oopsie. Considering the increase in cybercrime, the demand for cybersecurity experts is increasing immensely. The FBI simply cannot afford to be stubborn about this and they might have to bend some of their rigid policies. That's all that we have for you guys today. Do you have any solutions for the FBI? Mention them in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.